What's up, man? We're back with another episode of Kicks with KB. All right, so today, if y'all don't know what's dropping today, they got some dunks dropping this morning. They call Vintage Green. It has the same color blocking. It's like the UNC dunks, the Panda dunks, where it's black. On these Vintage Green dunks, it is green. It's like a, it's more so an evergreen, like a deep, dark green but it's not a matte finish green. It's like a glossy green, all right? The midsole on this shoe is gonna be, it's like a cream color to give it that vintage look, that vintage feel, which is what a lot of people are going for these days. They're going for that older, like hey, I've been had this shoe, you know? They're going for that vintage style look on the shoes. Um, and that's what this shoe is gonna be. That's gonna be dropping this morning. It's gonna be dropping on the sneakers out. It's not gonna be on Nike. If you go check it out on Nike, it's gonna tell you to go to sneakers. Now, when you get on stickers, you got to make sure you got all your information already in. Everybody asks me all the time, hey, man, how do you win your shoes and how do you get them for retail? You need to have your information put in. You need to have multiple cards put in. Your address needs to be put in. Everything needs to be in and ready to go when you get on there and try to get these shoes because you want to enter that draw or that raffle or whatever it is as quick as possible. Sometimes it's first come, first serve. If you get on there two or three minutes late because you're still putting your information in on a first come, first serve drop, you already lost, man. You might as well get off of there and go find you something else to do with your day or get ready for that $100, $200 markup on resale. You feel me? So those are the shoes that are dropping this morning. Today's episode. I don't know why I keep calling it episode, bro. This is YouTube. Uh, I guess I'm on like a reality TV series or something in my mind. But, so, on today's video, we're talking about some shoes, man, that I wish that I kept. Not, not even that I wish that I kept, man. I wish that I, I don't know. You, you ever just been disappointed in yourself or something that you did to something? Like, these shoes, man, and I guess when I got the shoe, I did not want this shoe. I thought it was the ugliest shoe on the planet. It was for my birthday. And I was getting ready to go out. And I'm like, yeah, man, I got to get something. So I'm I'm chasing. These are the OVO 8s dropped. I'm trying to get, no, was it the OVO 8s or the OVO 12s? No, 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 OVO 10s. It was the OVO 10s. I don't think they did 12s. But the 10s dropped. Pay somebody $600 for some shoes, man. Because I'm thinking, hey, this man said he can get everything. I said, hey, can you get me those? He said, yeah. I said, how much? He said, man, it'll be 600 so I shot him the 600. All day go by. I'm at the mall looking for clothes to go with some shoes that I ain't even got yet because he told me he could get them. And by the time time for it comes, he can't get it. So I'm like, hey, bro, no, you need to send my money back. Now I need it now because I'm at the mall now. I need the bread. I ain't got no time to wait. You know, so I'm having to press this man about my money. It's already mine that I done sent to him about something else. Uh, needless to say, Walking through the mall, I'm in the gallery in Houston. Had to get some ugly shoes. I thought these were the ugliest shoes, I'm not gonna lie. And, and now you go back and look at resale value compared to what I paid for these. I think they might have been like 190. Go look at resale, it is three something, four. What? And I was, what? Bro, three something, four for these? And back then, I. They were sitting on the shelf, dog. That's how the shoe game done changed. Because that's about the time I started. You feel me? So now you got these shoes, and they, they sitting on the shelf. And back then, they, it's crazy. But anyway, I'm looking for somebody, actually. Uh, if you see this video, uh, please, if you know anybody that restores shoes, that's really trustworthy. Hopefully they're in Texas or in the Houston area, man, because I ain't trying to ship my shoes out of state because I don't trust it because I'm going to want my shoes back because I got a couple of pairs I want to send to them to see what they can do with them just so I can keep them in my collection, you feel me? Um, the shoe that we're talking about, <laughs> I was so disappointed in this shoe. Oh, my God. Can't believe I bought this. I kind of wish I treated it better, though, about knowing what they're going for. Look at this. What? Why is this shoe going for what it's going for? Look at it. 
Now I know they're they're about to drop the high top version of these, which is why I want these to be restored because I feel like you know how player I'll be stepping out in these, and no, I didn't cut them, bro. These just the low tops. These from two thousand and what fifteen, I believe. See the problem that I'm having with them this scuffed up. I think I took these fishing or something, bro. That's my problem. I be out doing stuff that you shouldn't do with Jordans, which is why I lock them up. And then I'll bring them out only on special occasions because I know I'd be tripping, you feel me? <sighs> this shoe was really disappointing. The suede finish, the silver is, yeah. And to be honest with y'all, the Jordan symbol's still in there, the sticker's still in there, and that's because I don't think I've worn these shoes more than three times. The reason that they're so yellowed and it's kind of weird because you can even see through the yellow. That's how clear it still is, is because this shoe was in the trunk of my car for what? Like a, a few years, probably. It was in the trunk of my car probably for like a year or two. I have no clue why this shoe stayed in the trunk of my car. I don't even have a box to it. I don't even know where it is. But this was just a disappointing shoe that now I kind of want back. I'm not going to lie to y'all, especially with the with the regular version dropping. I feel like this is something that I can pull out and people be trying to figure out, hey, bro, where did you get that from? Ah, you get out of my little collection, all right? My little collection, all right? You stay up out of that. But nah, so I don't have a box for it, man. But look, this is something that I got online the other day. Actually, my fiance got it online for me. She buys me stuff all the time. I'm kind of spoiled. So this is my shoe travel bag, bro. Now, um, I don't know if y'all watch Unbreakable Kicks, but I've been on Unbreakable Kicks, and they got like this sole premise bag for multiple shoes. Now, that's next on my list. However, Nike has been dropping these shoe box bags, bro. See, I still got a tag on it. That's how you know I ain't went nowhere with it. What's like 35 bucks, bro, for a shoe box bag? What? For like a, a one? Look, you could even put two. And then, you, I know, anybody that buys shoes, you know what the bottom of the one box looks like. Look at that. Hold on, let me get all this out of the way. Look at that. It's like the bottom of the one box. Ain't it? Oh, yes. Yeah, this is fire. Now, this ain't the one I wanted. They had one that looked like the Jordan 4 box, and that would've been fire. But I'm gonna take this one because it's the Jordan 1 box. Everybody know what one's doing these days. More random stuff like that. It's tight. All right. So that's that one. You know, that, that one is what it is. Now, still disappointed that I bought that. Still disappointed that I bought that. I'm even more so disappointed that ah, I don't I don't know. That the resale price went up. Not that I'm gonna sell anything, but you gotta check, be like, all right, I got some fire in my room. And it went up. And it's just like how? I guess because the shoe is so old that somebody thought like, hey man, I wanna go buy these. And now you can't. Um this next shoe. Y'all gonna be so disappointed in me. Super disappointed in me. This shoe is supposed to be coming back out, and I'm getting it. This shoe, when I got it, my fiance and I were, uh, she made sure I had this shoe. I stood in line for this in Huntsville, Texas, in the mall, Lee Baron. They had a foot locker in there. They had me stand in line for this shoe. Of course, got the dub. Um, this is back when you could actually stand in line for a shoe, and it was safe. Uh, but don't know about it. Probably, yeah, I probably don't even know what Huntsville, Texas is, but I was in college. So, yeah, got this shoe. And, man, I wish I kept this. I have taken this shoe fishing. This shoe has been all kinds of places. They probably shouldn't have. I caught a shark in this shoe, dog. I swear. I, if I can find a picture, I'm going to post it on the video. But I caught a shark in this shoe. Uh, that's why this shoe means a lot to me. Caught my first shark. I'm a fishing guy, so caught my first shark. So I can't let this shoe go. But I got to get the new one when they come out. However, I do want to get these restored if possible because I feel like why not have both of them? Because who else is going to have both of them? Look at it. 
I'm sorry. I feel bad. I know that you guys are like, bro, what did you do to it? And look, to be honest and be clear, I've watched it. Um, this shoe, my, my girls have watched it because that's, I cleaned it. The Jordan symbol is no longer on the inside. Look at it. It needs it need some love, bro. She needs some love. Still got the original. 314-2012. I don't know which number is which and what it's for, though. But it's got the UPC code in there. This is wild. Hmm. I don't know if y'all can see that, but right there, say like 314-2012 and 358-2012. Uh, I'll let you know these babies are, <gasps> what, 10 years old? That kind of dates how old I am. As you can see, I got that one gray hair right there, so you know I'm kind of old. But this shoe is hard, and this is really not that bad, to be honest with you. I mean, I, I bruised up the toe, of course, because I told y'all I went fishing. But I even still got the color on the bottom. And even, like, it's not it's not cracking. It's not nothing. It's just the shoe is still solid. Like, it's still together. Now, I do need some, some tender love and care right up in there. But then I got to find somebody to do this so I can bring these babies back. So when the other ones come out and we look at them, we can be like, hey, as a collective unit, we got the old ones and the new ones. I'm going to keep saying we because if I got it, you know, y'all got it. This is a unit here. Um, I took the shoestrings out because I was going to try to clean it. But, nah, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't got enough equipment or time. But, like, right here, it looks like it. I don't know what that is. Need some love, though. It's coming apart. It's not too... Man, it's, I, I don't feel like it's terrible. I don't feel like it's a shoe that they can't... Now, ooh, that angle is terrible. But I don't feel like it's a shoe that they can't fix. Look at, look at it. And it was a sexy shoe back in the day. I was tripping. And you know I told y'all I'm a cute, so I probably wore this to parties and frat parties. And, man... This shoe probably done did all kinds of spins and kicks and jumps in the air and dives on the floor and fights and all kinds of stuff that you shouldn't do, kids. Um, but golly, about to knock the purple off the bottom of this baby. But yeah, man. Uh, so these are just two of my shoes in my collection, man, that I felt like I wanted to show y'all. Um, I'm trying to get up with my guy, man, my shoe guy that I told y'all about in the first video to see what he got. He got a few boxes in now. He ain't showed me what's in it, um, but he told me it's something that I'm definitely going to want to see, and I think it's something that y'all are definitely going to want to see. Uh, of course, this is video number three. You feel me? So we are 362 videos away from where we're trying to get to. That sounds stupid to say that. I'm going to quit saying that after the first few videos, and then we're just going to grind it out, bro. But we are going to do this together. This is should not, probably should not be that smooth, but it's weird. It is. Um, we're going to grind these videos out together. We're going to grow this channel together. Um, of course, thank y'all for coming in, taking a look at another video. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you got any questions, anything that you want to ask me about shoes, any shoes you know, uh, you're trying to figure out how to grab them for retail, what you need to do first to grab them for retail, hey, man, holla at me. We'll talk it out. And uh, I'm going to get back to y'all on the next video.